So you might be wondering, should you go out and buy the last year model Q60C or should you buy the newer Q60D? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the difference between the two as far as picture quality and some basic features to see which one you should spend your hard earned money on. Now, I will say that this one's been in storage, so I will need to do some updates and things like that on it. And this one, I recently did a review on. With that being said, let's get started. Now, if you look at the design on these televisions, they look identical. Only difference that I can tell is that the feet on the Q60C looks more gray than the Q60D. So that's not necessarily an improvement, but that is a difference I can see. Now, both TVs do support Wi-Fi, but if you look at the back of the Q60C, everything is the same. You have two USBs, two HDMIs, one of them is eARC. You also have a third HDMI here, fiber optic output, and you have a TV tuner. And the Q60D has the exact same inputs. And both TVs has that thin air slam design that Samsung's known for in their edge lit panels. And if you saw both of these TVs in the showroom, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Since the Q60C has been in storage, we'll go ahead and clean up the screen and do the updates. And just so you know, I've already made a full review on both of these TVs, but as you can see here, they have the same exact remote control with USB powered and solar on the back. For time's sakes, I decided to leave both of these TVs in movie mode throughout everything I show you. And if we go into expert settings, I went in here and I factor reset both of them to what Samsung put out when they first created the television. So we get the exact same settings on both TVs. Now keep in mind, both of these TVs do have smart calibration. So if you do have a phone that's compatible, you can use the screen on that to calibrate the television if you don't have calibration software. And just so you know, I'm gonna be using the Apple TV to control everything. And we're gonna go ahead and see what it looks like on SDR content. In my opinion, both TVs have a very compatible picture, but you can't help but notice that the Q60D has a lot more brighter picture overall. So if you was to get this TV, you're definitely gonna notice a difference in the picture quality as far as brightness. And that brightness is gonna make a difference on scenes like this where you have a lot of grass, a lot of white scenes, a lot of action. So what I'm seeing so far, I'm liking the picture better on the Q60D. Now still with the TVs in SDR mode, look at the reds on that Q60D. I really think Samsung went back to the drawing board on this TV and they really updated the software. Now just look at the colors on it. I mean, what a huge difference between these two televisions. Now at first I thought these were the same panel because the specs were the same, but there's something different in the Q60D that you don't get on the Q60C. We're gonna switch over to HDR now just to see what the pictures look like on both televisions. Not only that the Q60D looks sharper, but it also has better color reproductions. And this is why when you ask me to choose one TV over another, the only way I can really tell when we put them side by side. We can all look at specs, but seeing is believing. Now keep in mind with the lights off, these TVs don't have a high niche rating. In fact, with this HDR, I can't really make it out that good. Everything just seems very black. So it appears on HDR that the Q60C is appearing to be a lot brighter and I can see a lot more tones in it than I can see on the Q60D. So it's kind of toss up, depends on the scene you're watching. I think the Q60C looks better in darker scenes, but the Q60D definitely looks better when there's a lot of light on the picture. And one thing I noticed on both of these TVs is that the black bars on the top and bottom of the TVs are not that inky. So you'll have to go with a Neo QLED or one of Samsung's OLEDs if that becomes a problem for you. Before I show you some gamings, I just want to show you a couple of my demos here. And I say both TVs look really good, but you can definitely see the difference in the Q60D. Not only is the picture a lot brighter and more details, but as you look at these different scenes, you're gonna definitely get a lot more shadow detail as well, looking at both of these televisions side by side. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Which television do you like? But I'm here to tell you, if you already own a Q60C and you're happy with it, this demo is just to show people newer models on the market so you can see what's out there and see if these manufacturers are making improvements. And I definitely could tell a big difference. So if you're just wondering which TV has the better colors, it's obvious, the Q60D. I have both TVs in gaming mode now and they have a game bar here at the bottom. Now I will say that they look almost identical, but they did make some rearrangements on this software over the new one. Not sure why they did that. And if you look in the menu, they look almost identical, except the Q60D has this mini map auto detection. And this feature is set to automatically recognize the location on mini maps whenever using mini map zoom. So that's another feature that the Q60D has over the Q60C. So, so far I'm liking the Samsung Q60D 
Now I'm going to show you some basic gaming and again I've made a full review on both televisions that you can check out. So as you guys already know I'm going to bring Justin to the channel to start making videos on portable devices so we can add more to the channel. Justin come on. So this is Justin and uh, the thing is he's going to be doing gaming for us because I'm not a big gamer and he is so uh, let's show him some gaming on it. Let's do it. Now what I'm seeing on gaming right now is that the Q60C actually has a little bit better picture as far as brightness and color reproductions. So this is a tough trade off between the two TVs. So I think both TVs look pretty good. But again, when it comes to gaming, I think the Q60C looks better. And you can see right here up in the skies over this Q60D, it just looks much better. Also, if you look at the car right here, it's going to have a better color saturation than the Q60D. But I think, again, it all depends on what you're going to do. So at this point, I would say if you're going to be doing gaming, you definitely want to consider the Q60C. But if you're going to be watching movies and watching everyday content, the Q60D might be a better choice. <laughs> So after putting these side by side and really seeing the TVs, the thing is, is that everyday televisions, watching sporting events, watching movies, I think you're going to be more happy with the Q60D. You might have to pay full price or you might find a sale on it. Now, when it comes to gaming, I like the color reproduction better on the Q60C. So what it comes down to is gamers, everyday watching, but it's still good for gaming. Now both TVs has dual backlights, they have all the Samsung technology, they even have voice commands. So if you're looking for a TV, you might be able to find the Q60C a lot cheaper right now. So I think you'll be happy with it, but just keep in the back of your mind that this one's gonna be better colors on a daily basis. I'm Tech Steve, thanks a lot for watching. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 200,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Happy holidays, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.